Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today's upload is another video that I have been doing for the past four years. <clears throat> and this on is fourth year right now. And the question that I'll be answering is, who will see the best fall foliage or where the best fall foliage will occur this year, 2018. Uh, before we get into this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel. All you gotta do is hit that red subscribe button. And you are subscribed to this channel so consider doing that it really helps this channel a lot so the first thing we need to look at <clears throat> is what decides you know what makes a uh, a good foliage in the first place and then we could uh, look at where the environmental impacts are gonna be the worst and where the best and that's how we decide who's gonna see the best foliage so soil moisture um, if there's a drought, then the, it says leave, but the leaves, then the leaves will fall before they have the chance to turn color. Or the trees will be uh, stressed and not necessarily lose their leaves before color, but they will just be more quickly to brown and the color will last much shorter than during a normal soil moisture content level. Uh, temperature is another big one. Uh, Mainly the temperatures can't be too cold and the, the you know if the, if it's too cold especially in the fall late fall October a freeze could happen so if a freeze or frost happens and the leaves will deteriorate more quickly and uh, the best temperature for fall foliage is warm days and cool nights but that's you know that's almost unpredictable but we could look where it is uh, you know warmer than average cooler than average you know what the forecast says but again it can't be too cold so that the f so that frost occurs and also it can't be you know scorching hot because then we could be looking at a potential you know more of a drought or uh, the soil could dry out quicker uh, if there is Sunlight. Sunlight, this one's basically, you can't even predict this, but I just kind of put it in here. If there are more cloudy days than sunny days in the fall season, then the colors on the leaves will disappear quicker. If there's more sunlight, then the pigment in the leaves will stay longer, so a more prolonged uh, fall foliage, making it uh, seem more beautiful and better. However, again, at this point, I would literally have to have a globe. A wish casting globe I mean it's not predictable whether okay so this area will see more cloudy days than average that's basically uh, not something I could predict and no one can really predict that so that is just kind of there to show you that's another big impact uh, so let's start off by looking at the soil moisture uh, factor of this and you can see this is what the draw of outlook or monitor is showing there and Right now, actually, there's not that much drought. This may seem like a lot, but it's not. Uh, you can see the biggest area of drought is across the northwest, including states of Washington, Oregon, and Montana. However, uh, it's also a little bit down in Oklahoma, Texas uh, area. But overall, anywhere else, you can see the S's. That's basically short term. And that uh, means that it won't really last too long and won't have too big of an impact on many of these uh on many of these locations even you know across Illinois and Iowa that's most likely not going to be enough to stress the trees out too much to drop their leaves early the mo only area I'm looking at right now it's kind of concerning is the Texas area and the Northwest <clears throat> so that's like the only area that because of the drought it could be a little bit worse if we look at uh, I'm gonna quickly compare it to last year's drought so this was this year's a drought monitor this was last year's yeah you could see much were much much worse I mean there was some across the Northeast some across Michigan um, but I mean huge area in the West and this was exceptional drought across the Four Corners area uh, Oregon but it, well California look at this Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas, I mean, everywhere was just dry. And and during the winter, thankfully, we got so much rain. It was such a wet spring that you could see it basically got eradicated completely. And there, it's just white. It's, there's no, no drought at all. I'm not even abnormally dry across these areas, which is a great thing. So that just goes to show you that, uh, you know, a comparison and how quickly things could change. But uh, you could see the monthly outlook in terms of what is to come. You could see uh, that the Northwest will persist, uh, drought persist, and everywhere else, uh, you could see maybe there's some removal, so a little bit more rain. 
Northeast seems pretty fine. Southeast, maybe a few blotches of drought, uh, nothing too significant. The areas of concern is around the Arrowhead of Minnesota and Superior, Lake Superior, uh, the UP of Michigan. <clears throat> we could be looking at some uh, development likely, <clears throat> but I, I honestly, I'm not too convinced about that. Uh, you know, this could definitely flip around, and this is uh, released monthly, so the next month could be showing something slightly different. Here, but uh, you can see as of now, also Illinois, Northern Indiana, parts of Michigan, Ohio, and Iowa showing some uh, drought development, and you can see across Texas. Maybe a little bit under uh, some concern when it comes to the fall foliage due to this drought possibility developing which could stress the trees out and they could uh, turn brown and not really you know have the beautiful colors let's look at the temperature outlook now so the temperature outlook for september <clears throat> i tried looking for fall on the weather channel their outlook but they only had it <clears throat> they only had it for september so you can see that i included september in here and you can see how it's saying near or slightly below nor uh, below average here across these areas but everywhere else around uh, slightly av above average or above average <clears throat> so basically um the only air the only thing i'd like you know want to point out with this thing is i heard that uh the northwest may be in a little bit of trouble since they already have that drought in place so if they're going to see above average temperatures i think they have a pretty um, crummy chance for beautiful fall foliage. Here, I think it will at best be around average. Now look at the northeast, above average, but they have no drought really, so that could actually turn out to be some pretty nice fall foliage. Here, across here we have again above average, but there could be again like this map showed some drought development across these areas, so you know that may not be too good. But then the center part of the country near slightly below, below normal, here, so it kind of e cancels out this part right here, because even if there's a drought development, likely if the temperatures are slightly below normal. Uh, it shouldn't, uh, you know, it shouldn't be like an extreme drought, maybe just abnormally dry of some sort. Uh, I don't think it's going to be enough to stress the trees out. So, uh, but anywhere else, the central part of the country in this, uh, in this lighter orange, it seems as if, you know, compared to the drought, it looks like a pretty good fall. Or you could see near slightly above, above normal, a pretty good fall foliage, you know, slightly better than average. And if we look at the three-month outlook, here you could see that, this is from NOAA, so now this includes August, September, October. Um, they're showing, uh, they're showing basically an equal chances for this part of the country. But this is where I get kind of concerned because there have been signs, and they're obviously biased towards a warmth here. But because they're showing this equal chances area right in here, I think there's a pretty good chance that we could be looking at a <coughs> below average fall you know, fall in terms of temperatures for these areas, and there could be actually probably several blasts of cooler air that <clears throat> that bring in some chillier air that, you know, could bring frost, and I think that that's why in my final forecast, these areas, they don't, they're not really seeing the best fall foliage, because I do think across these areas an early frost may occur, and again, when an early frost occurs, the fall foliage really deteriorates quite drastically, so, uh, that's that's my reason for concern but again uh northwest maybe not helping with that above average temperature with, with that drought in place so probably some poor foliage there here everything should be fine uh you know generally not too bad texas still may get a little bit impacted by that uh you know this one's showing uh normal above normal temperatures while the weather channel one was showing below normal and the northeast should be very, very good, I think, this year in terms of the fall foliage. But I'm just a bit concerned across these areas where an early frost could occur. And that could kill off some of the leaves on the trees, preventing from a really good uh, foliage or a really good show display of leaves. Now I just want to show you a map that basically uh, shows all of all our... Uh, basically just compares the, the, the drought possibility, the drought where it is right now in above average temperatures so we can, you know, see where it may not be really good for certain areas like the northwest drought, above average temperatures, probably poor foliage. Texas, above average temperatures, probably poor foliage. Southeast, uh, maybe a little bit poor foliage across some spotty areas, but it shouldn't be too bad. These areas right here, uh, again, you can see not really seeing 
warmer temperatures, so it should be fine. Same with the north, other than that early frost possibility, and the northeast looking good. I also want to show you the uh, the peak fall foliage map. This basically shows us where the peaks are, <clears throat> and the reason for this is. This is not really going to impact my final forecast, but it could definitely impact the actual outcome. You know, I mean, we could be, by the time, look at this, late October, early November is for a good chunk of the country. If we, uh, you know, if we actually, <clears throat> by that time, we could be looking at a completely different area of abnormally dry conditions or drought, developing in an area which we did not foresee at this time of the year. So, this just kind of goes to show you that there's a long, widespread, I mean, goes from September through early November. So, very slowly, it creeps down, but, uh, but you know, it's already August 10th, across southern Canada, <coughs> the fall foliage is already occurring, just to give you perspective. And uh, this soon will be occurring across <coughs> Minnesota, and parts of New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and into the mountainous west of Idaho, Montana, Wyoming. Uh, into Colorado and possibly New Mexico. So now this is my final forecast. <clears throat> this is what I think. Uh, by the way, <clears throat> I do think that this area will be slightly worse as well. I just don't know why I didn't include this in. I kind of forgot about this area. But I think the Northwest will be slightly worse as well. But overall, this area should be better than usual because <clears throat> I do think that uh, the, the cold shouldn't really be too naggy at it so I don't think an early frost is really or you could see a uh, prominent you can see a uh, slightly above average conditions but or, but I do think you know there's no drought in this area so I do think it could be better than usual uh, this area I think is just gonna be average you know I don't really see uh, anything too awfully damaging or the only area I'd want to point out like kind of honorable mention if you want to call it that is or that I think the slightly worse could expand into this Texas area, but uh, not really, you know, not not for sure. And I just want to emphasize that overall this this year, the you know, the foliage looks pretty good across a good portion of the country. So I don't think there's going to be, you know, a huge area where it's going to be devastating or uh, really bad, you know. I think there's going to be a good area where, again, look at this, it's going to be beautiful. Uh, the northeast, I think, is going to be really gorgeous along the Appalachian Mountains into the Ozarks. Um, that is because you know, there's no drought. This should be warmer than average, and that's just for per per perfect conditions for, uh, for beautiful conditions. And the cold shouldn't really be able to get down that far. The reason this is slightly worse I think is because it could be a little bit too cold for some beautiful fall foliage and you know some of the leaves could get destroyed these areas is better than usual but it's not beautiful because there could be a drought again developing right here and that could really be impacting some of the locations across uh, the Midwest and the Northeast I think should be better interior parts of the Northeast is not beautiful either because it could be a little bit too cold and parts of the South and Florida could be better than usual as well due to not being too awfully dry or drought but this could turn out to be a little bit worse or average because it may be you could see pretty warm and that could lead to some drier conditions but thank you guys so much for watching consider liking the video consider subscribing to this channel i'll catch you all guys in the next episode see ya bye